doing good. So, Ocean is still on track to weigh 160 pounds ish, ish, because some days, some weeks it's a little more, some weeks just less, but always right around the same thing, following the puppy chart. And um, so we previously said he was a mastiff and black and tan coon hound mix, based on you know that's what the human society said he was. They'd seen mom and they'd seen dad, and that's what they said he was. Um, and the size definitely works for the massive thing. But, one of the ladies who had his DNA test done actually said he came out first and foremost with like 30% American Pitbull Terrier. Which, every dog is Pitbull any day anymore. And then, like way down on the list is like a 6% is the Mastiff, right? And it's like, yeah, well, I don't care how far down it is because the dog's coming into that size. <laughs> and he's got the the beautiful brindle coat and everything he just he has that some of him has that look like his face actually so um sometimes i'm like okay in his eyes i can see a little bit of pit bull, but in his um like his his nose and everything else it's like no so the other dogs that were mixed in he's just a mutt he's a mutt <laughs> but the other dogs that were mixed in was um an uh, australian cattle dog was the next big one and there was a golden retriever in there, and a German Shepherd, and oh, Basset Hound. Which, okay, Basset Hound made sense. Not because of him, but because I'd seen his mother. And his mother, absolutely, everything about her says black and tan coon hound, except that she's short. She's got short legs. So it's like, okay, so I see the Basset Hound in that. Now, he's not on track to be short. I checked, um, like I've been watching his height against his weight, too. He's just gonna be the size of a small mastiff. Um, but his look, I don't even know, because I'm looking at his body shape and everything else, and I'm like, that's what I see is, the, the, the predominant thing is that the Humane Society thought he was, that's what I see. Uh, his face, I don't know, he's got longer ears than a, than a pit bull, he's got shorter ears than, or I mean longer, longer ears than a pit bull or a mastiff, and shorter ears than a, any kind of hound. So I was like, well, some of I, I see the, you know, possible shepherd or, or retriever or even the cattle dog, whatever. Those three dogs have slightly longer noses and ears and stuff. So, um, I only go this way since that's real noisy and you don't like that. But, so basically he's a mutt. But he, he's, he's a cute little mutt and everyone keeps telling me, oh, he's so pretty. He's such a pretty dog. Yes, he is. Um, mutts make the best dogs. Uh, we'll see how, it, you know, it turns out when he gets older. Because you, n you never know. When they start out as puppies, it's not the same way they look when they get older. Akira, you wouldn't even recognize her from the first picture we brought her, when we brought her home to what she looked like as, she, as a grown dog. It's like, how is that the same dog? Now, I think he's pretty big, so it's, I think it's going to hold, you know, his, his look will kind of hold. Uh, he's a big puppy. Yeah, we got to learn loosely, loose leash walking. Uh... Anyway, so, but the DNA test also said there was no black and tan coon hound in him. And it's like, I've seen his mother. How is that? So I am, that was her, she ran it on Embark. I'm going to go ahead and get a different one. I'm going to get the Wisdom Panel DNA test and see what that comes back with. Uh, because, you know, they're siblings. They could be slightly different. And, di you know, they're different DNA tests. I would like to see which one comes up with what. And if I think one's more accurate than the other. So, just an update on our little, our, our mixed breed baby.